Hello there, Economics 101 back with another video. This time we're talking about the presidents and their economic policies. Uh, this video will star Dominic Bologna. James Mercurio. Ryan Scott. And Chris Warburton. Now, we're going to focus on Hillary Clinton's economic policies. First, one of her economic goals is her tax plan. She is not proposing to bring down debt, but instead to balance her new spending with tax increases. She's trying to make it so there's more of an equilibrium in taxing, so the wealthy are taxed more and the poor tax less. This will slow growth in the short run, but will boost growth in the long run. The long-term result relies on more than $1 trillion in economic planning for government spending programs. The opportunity cost would be to decrease trade with other countries that would lead to decrease in international relations and exports. So by decreasing that, she will instead focus on the equilibrium and the distribution of taxes to the wealthy so they receive higher taxes and the poor receive lower taxes. So Hillary Clinton's economic goals include economic growth, full employment, and equi equitable distribution of income. For taxes, Hillary Clinton wants to increase taxes for people with high income and man maintain tax levels for corporations. This will lower consumer spending, which will lower the GDP and lower price levels. For trade, Hillary Clinton wants to encourage exports. This will improve employment and net exports, which will raise the GDP and price levels. For government spending, Hillary Clinton wants to increase uh, overall government spending, mainly on non-military goods. This will increase the GDP and cause higher unemployment and higher price levels. For monetary policy, Hillary Clinton wants to maintain current money supply and raise interest rates. This will cause consumer spending and investments to decrease, uh, which will decrease the GDP and lower price levels. And regarding Obamacare, Hillary Clinton wants to keep Obamacare, which will, lower, which will continue to lower the overall GDP and cause price levels to drop. Thank you. Let's take a peek at Donald Trump's economic policies. Donald Trump's standpoint consists of many economic aspects. To begin with, Trump wants to lower spending altogether, with exceptions to military spending. Since more money is being spent on the military, less money is being spent on other governmental necessities and or governmental purchases. The money given up in order to provide more money for military necessities is the opportunity cost. In the long run, this will lead to lower employment rates, lower growth rates, and lower infl inflation rates, while in the short run, the military will become much more powerful and will have more resources. To add, this will result in lower import rates, since the United States has sacrificed money which could have been used to purchase products from other countries. Another key aspect that Donald Trump supports is to lower taxes for both consumers and corporations. The opportunity cost of lowering taxes is that less money will be going to the government, in the long and short run, this will result in lower import rates for the United States, higher employment rates, higher growth rates, as well as higher inflation rates. Donald Trump's economic goals include lower taxes for higher earners and lower taxes for corporations. This would cause the aggregate demand curve to shift right, the price levels would rise, GDP would rise, there'd be more growth, employment, and inflation would occur. He also wants lower overall spending. This would mean the aggregate demand to go down, price level would decrease, real GDP would decrease. This would cause employment to decrease. There'd be lower inflation or deflation, and there'd be less growth, maybe a recession. Donald Trump also is supporting more trade and exports. This would mean aggregate demand to shift right, price level to rise, real GDP to rise, which in turn would cause more growth more employment and inflation. 
He wants to reduce money supply, mostly on military spending, and this would cause aggregate demand to decrease, shift to left, price levels would decrease, real GDP would decrease, and this would in turn bring lower employment and inflation to decrease. I'm coming home. I'm coming home.